How you doing today? This is Vince Rowland from Burn Stainless with another episode of Vince and Shorts. So today I just wanted to give you a little update on what we're doing at Burn Stainless as we're always trying to uh, push the limit, the, kind of that relentless innovation that we like to talk about. Uh, we started working with a laser welder. So the reasoning that we had gotten into this, we had a couple of customers, one customer in particular that uh, required a us to weld um, 20 gauge ink canal uh, sheet metal and um, I found that if we were going to do that with conventional TIG welding that we would have a um, horrendous problem with uh, distortion with those uh, thin materials and thought that hey you know what laser welding is really the, the trick here because one of the great things about laser welding is the fact that the laser concentrates the energy in such a small um, area for such a small period of time that in general you get less heat that goes through the part. So we thought that, hey, you know what, with this minim minimized distortion, with this laser welding is going to really allow us to, to get there. So we took our part, we took it up to a local, actually Sarah Laser, who um, is up here in Anaheim, and uh, we actually put one of these uh, prototypes together. We had them do the um, outside welding of the product and it really came out uh, beautifully and then the other amazing thing that we you know had heard about but didn't realize how uh, much it would help is how much faster laser welding is than TIG welding. I mean, well, let's start using it on some of our production parts. So we went out and started using it and putting together some of our uh, headers and here's an example. This is a header that uh, we manufacture for uh, Moonshine Harley Davidson and you can get in here and you can see the the welding that we get you know on this and I would say that for this um, don't have the time tick available to me right now but I'd say that we're at least five times as fast on putting these uh, systems together than we were with uh, with the conventional TIG welding and um, what's, what's really nice is that the penetration is so good that um, you really, really get a, a, a fantastic weld. This is the uh, box behind us. Again, it's by IPG uh, Photo Photonics. It's a Light Weld XR. And um, I'm not the welder, so I can't tell you all of the intricacies here. Uh, I hope to be able to give uh, something a little bit more in depth, maybe look, looking at the actual welds themselves and maybe look at some technical differences between a TIG weld and the laser weld as we do get our data um, in place. But this is the system. This is actually a 1500 watt um, capable system. We don't nearly go up to those kind of uh, um, powers in, with what we're doing. I mean 500 here is about the highest that we, that we tend to see. So there are some different modes that uh, you can set on, on the system and one of those is the cleaning mode and then there's a way that it pulses the laser and there are various uh, settings for that. Um, you can also set the wobble frequency which is really as, as you're welding the laser is going back and forth down the process so you can change that frequency and also you can change the wobble length which is how wide it is so you can get a thin weld or you can get a thick weld depending on the kind of welding that uh, you're wanting to do. This is the laser gun and um, this laser actually uses uh, a back purge. It uses a nitrogen back purge as opposed to an argon back purge that we would do with uh, TIG welding with uh, stainless steel. Um, as you can see there is a wire feeder. So this is a wire feeder that is uh, um, kind of neat that you can take, take this on and off of the uh, unit. I think you probably have to have some tools to do that. So again, I don't want to mess it up for the, for the guys that actually do the work around here. But um, <clears throat> again, the laser comes out of here. Um, you can see this is the, uh, this isn't the laser that actually does the welding but that's the laser that allows you to know where exactly you are, are, are welding. That's just kind of your siding laser and the actual laser um, happens when you actually pull the trigger. Um, but you have to have uh, flow going through, you have to be grounded, and you actually have to have an interlock in your uh, welding area so that 
when you're actually doing the welding, um, nobody comes in and inadvertently um, make somebody blind or cut their arm off, which I guess you could probably do that. That is just a quick introduction to what we're doing here at Burn Stainless. And like I said, I really would like to follow this up with a little bit more of a technical analysis of uh, laser welding. And if you just stay tuned and subscribe to our channel, you will be informed when that video comes out. But anyway, until next time, this is Vince Roman from Burn Stainless. Bye-bye.